Hello, everyone. I'm going to try to do something a little different. This is kind of neat. So we're just basically looking west at Chiriaco Summit. So I'm sitting in the back of Dharma. I got the tail end up. I figured I'd just talk to you for a minute. And boy, I, I, you don't want to see me right now. I'm, I'm kind of rough looking, so I'm just going to avoid the, the FaceTime at the moment. <clears throat> But I would talk, like to talk about some tips for the road. For those of you who are traveling full time or beginning to travel or thinking about it. And before I do that, I always wanted to, you know, try something different. So I'm going to read a poem I just wrote. And hopefully it doesn't suck too bad. It's called Moonfire. That's the title. <laughs> My heart soars just <clears throat> My heart soars with just the thought of being in your presence, hoping to be there when your smile shines once again. Epic love that led to an epic fall. Can the moment that once was be again? Meant to be love's destiny. Cheesy, right? Yeah, I'm a romantic. Anywho, that was kind of neat. Every once in a while, something, something pops in my head and I write it down. <clears throat> Hopefully you liked it. There's the poem from me. <laughs> okay, let's talk about some tips. I, I found a really cool one here. I'm just going to show you. This is a water bottle. You drink half of it, and you put the other half in your window, your front window, when the sun is shining. And within an hour, you have hot enough water to actually cook. You can't really see it because it's not working out really well. Here, let me just put it down so you can see it. There you go. This is Quaker Oats Instant Peaches and Cream. And I also have a Blueberries and Cream. Very good, very nutritious, inexpensive. And like I said, just half a, half a bottle of this and two of these. And yeah, you got instant oatmeal and you didn't have to cook. You don't have to waste your butane or whatever. So that's one tip for survival. And I have a Tupperware full of canned stuff. And, I have a cooler which is absolutely worthless at the moment because I have no ice in it. It's just holding more water, which is another thing. If you're in the desert, this is key, baby. Just lots and lots of water and be prepared to be alone. I mean, it's beautiful. It's quiet. I'm actually really close to a gas station and people. It's just I'm far enough to wait where I'm, I can't talk yet to where it seems very desolate at the moment. But I'm actually thinking about trying to purchase some land in the desert somewhere and work on building an adobe house. But the idea is mostly underground, so that's going to be interesting. So I'm going to do a lot of digging. And so, yeah, a lot of math, but it'll be fun. So that'll be something in the future I'm excited about. Um, yeah, other than that, I'm still in my paintings. But if you're on the road, um, gas is important. So if you don't have to travel, don't travel. Like I'm, I've been squatting here for a couple weeks boondocking whatever this is blm down the hill from me is the pat museum and they have a camping behind there for seven days so this is really cool plus there's blm all over the place around joshua tree and and i've got some of my videos talk about actually all my videos talk about different blm camping sites that i went to and i started just filming talking about the campsites where i was at and you know it was free and whatever and give descriptions but I started jazzing it up, you know, things I used to research and fun facts and just me, me being silly. But anyway, um, <clears throat> it's going to be rough on the road. A lot of times you're going to be alone unless you're with somebody or have a dog, which is good. But so prepare yourself for, you know, idle hands, that kind of thing. So th think of things that you do, like how, like I've been painting and that keeps me out of trouble. And I need to go for walks, which is easy enough to do in the desert. You just got to be careful with water and all that stuff careful of the surroundings one thing i noticed that i had to get used to over the last year of being outdoors is bugs that's it you know if you get used to bugs and mosquitoes are the worst of course and i think the worst i had it as far as bugs going all over the west was was basically lake henry in colorado it was flat open land and it was just a lake out in the middle of nowhere and it was just mosquitoes I mean, as soon as the sun started going down i had to lock up my vehicle inside and just you see the swarms outside my vehicle, and I was like, okay, that's bullshit. So obviously I didn't hang out there long, but 
it. So in Montana, it was full of bugs, but it was spring, and that was when all the little, the big like carpenter ants were like drones are flying around. They'd land on you. They're like the size of hornets. Those are kind of freaky. But yeah, you get used to the bugs and let them crawl around on you as long as they're not going to bite you. That's kind of cool. The flies are the worst, but next to mosquitoes. But anyway, especially in the desert. other little critters critters a little squirrel out here somewhere that's really cute and funny looks like a cross between a squirrel and a chipmunk <laughs> really cute little shits anyway that's it uh, enough babbling hope you enjoyed the the scenery have a wonderful day god loves you the universe loves you and of course so do i so love yourself and everything's golden baby have a great day